Hey guys, Andrew Dwight here. I'm going to talk about SketchUp 2021. Today is officially the first day it's been released and you may not have even known about it because SketchUp haven't actually made a song and dance about it. Uh, so what I want to try and do here is just give you the no bullshit understanding of what SketchUp 21 does versus SketchUp 20. And uh, let's see if we can get through it pretty quickly because i got a lot going on, no doubt so are you. So let's have a look. Okay, so... You notice that we have another character, big deal, not such, you know, uh, Samil I think is the name and, you know, like most characters I delete them out of my model so I don't think it's going to affect most people. Uh, you'll also notice that it has logo updates and you'll see at the top up here that we have different logos for 3D Warehouse. For me, it doesn't make a big deal except for it takes me a little bit longer to get used to uh, understanding what does what. Um, but, you know what, within two or three days you'll be over it and moving on. However, there are some advantages uh, involved with SketchUp 2021 as far as workflow and, and I come at workflow from a design or construction perspective. Uh, there's also some other benefits with it and that would be to do with file size and, and files saved on disk. So if you're using Dropbox or your own computer and you're emailing files, there's a good chance that a 100 megabyte file would come down to 25 megabytes now. I've also um, got uh, SketchUp 20 open and SketchUp 21 open and both of them with the exact same files and we might just have a quick look and see if we can notice any performance review um, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, let's have a look. So let's open up a larger file here. Uh, this would be about 500 megabytes. Uh, it's a large file. The shadows are on. It seems to be navigating quite well uh, and I could turn those shadows on and off if I please. Uh, so I would say for a, a, a very large federated model, pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at SketchUp 20 and see how it deals with that. As you can see, shadows are on. <clears throat> I'm not seeing any performance, if anything, none, I would say. So no performance difference there. However, if we went and save this file, I'll go File, Save As. And you'll notice that the file size is 412 megabytes there. Uh, so I'm not going to save this one because you guys are busy and so am I. Let's just get into here and we're going to go file. This is open as save, uh, open existing model as, uh, let's go save as. And I'm just going to rename this here to, and while that's saving, we'll go, we'll just call this 2021. <clears throat> and we'll have a look at that in a second. What we want to look for is um, how much difference it makes to a file size of the 490 megabyte model um, and that should make a big difference. So my computer's uh, running normal. Now there are some things that I did want to talk about and I really wanted to explain that, that these items are probably the most important thing that I found in SketchUp 2021 and basically you'll notice that in this model it has a lot of layers and layers that are turned off are slightly greyed out if I, I'm just going to use a plug in there and turn all my layers on. Uh, and, and this is a pretty large model. Uh, it's working nicely inside of uh, SketchUp and everything's working fine. However, here's the problem with large models and lots of layers is finding the right layer and understanding if you didn't draw it yourself, you might not understand the layer. Or you might actually have a, uh, a plug-in such as Plusbeck creating layers for you so you can turn things off. It can be a little bit cumbersome to go through here and try and find the right layer. And this is what I really like about it. So if I type in here and go roof, everything that has roof inside of the layer can now be turned on and off. And there you go. So I can turn um, things on and off so quickly and that's a huge benefit uh, on large models. Um, so I'm also just gonna quickly show that you can actually create um, a tag folder as well. So it means you can actually organize uh, folders. So if I actually went here and said, uh, I'm going to create a new folder uh, called roof. I'm actually just going to get rid of tag folder. I'm actually going to call it roof. Right. I could actually drag and drop layers inside of that. And all of a sudden you'll notice that I start to have an ability to hide and open layers. There is another way to do it as well. So if I went here and said walls or Okay, and I went through and I, and I said, well, everything is, that's got wall inside of it, let's just say all of these. Shift. 
and I went plus, I've got, now I have my wall folder and inside of that, when I create that folder, um, I will have everything inside of that folder. Let's hope I got that right. Enter, okay, let's have a bit of a look here. So I'm gonna get rid of our search criteria now and you'll notice that now I have roof and if I turn my roof off, everything that was in my roof that I dragged in there before was there and also if I turn my walls off, everything that was on those layers inside of there. Now obviously there's cladding and other things inside of there but it is a really quick way to do it and I, if uh, you wanna stick around, I can quickly show you how to do that from scratch. Search criteria is amazing. I really think it's an excellent improvement that the SketchUp uh, was long overdue for. It makes uh, workflow a lot easier. Let's have a quick look and see how that uh, file saved and what size it saved as. So save as. Okay. The model that I uh, named 2021 is 95 megabytes and the model in SketchUp 20 was 412 megabytes. That's a significant improvement in file size and I must admit that I'm happy with that. That saves me hassle and new hassle. I'm also told, but haven't tested it yet, that you can actually open older SketchUp files, uh, sorry, newer SketchUp files in older versions of SketchUp, which over top of what Autodesk does and Archicad does is, is, is excellent. They haven't restricted us. So for instance, if you don't have the budget to update and you're on a perpetual license, and someone's drawn in 2021, I know they can go file, save as, back to, you know, I think it's back to SketchUp uh, uh, 12, but oh, I don't think it's called 12, file, save as, and you'll notice down here, we can go back and save, right back to 13 or eight or whatever it was. However, my understanding is, and it's up to you guys to give it a quick test out, uh, is that you can actually open up a 2021 file in an older version of SketchUp. And, and if that's the case, I think that's a really smart move on behalf of Trimble and the team at SketchUp. Um, as far as that goes, they're the improvements that I can see. Um, as I said, to me, it doesn't make a, a great deal of difference. However, there is one, uh, wh whether you think it to be an improvement or not, let's have a quick look. I'm going to go into here and just got a blank SketchUp model. And we're going to go in and we're going to take a quick look at our uh, layouts because the icons are just 3D warehouse. And you'll notice that they now have these new component types, right? And they're called live components. So fortunately, when I open this up, I have one here, but you can go through and search it. Now, with live components, you can actually um, change the uh, attributes of a component. So I can change the window sizes and things like that. So you can download these, get rid of that. I have found uh, as a negative um, that they're a little bit slow to use. Um, so you can configure the component online. online. So if I see configure here, as you can see, it's a little bit slow and probably not ideal, but no doubt it's a work in progress. Um, and you can go through and change things about uh, the component. Now I have a fast internet speed here, but as you can see, it is slowing up a touch. Once you do get those loaded, you can change the, the everything about the, the file. So I can go in here and say, okay, I want my window sizes to change. And that's really handy. And especially if you're a Plusbeck user and you want a particular type of window, using these and putting them inside of your, your Plusbeck model and having window as none uh, is a great way to have you know more functionality inside of uh, your model. You can download these files and you can also go and you can edit them inside of SketchUp. So let's have a quick look. Configure live component. I do find it a little bit slow. However, I, I think it has some merit um, in different areas. And just like everything else, uh, you can see that now I can go through and, and change this live inside of uh, SketchUp. Uh, and you can type values in and so on. I'll let you have a bit of a play around with those. Uh, and I did say that I'd just show you from scratch how to actually uh, mess with our layers here. So I'm just going to pin my default tray and I'm going to just choose a tool, a plugin that we make. Uh, it's called Plusbeck and I quickly just draw a couple of walls here. Right, as soon as it did that it created these layers here. Now what I want to do is I actually want to use this um, tag folder functionality and I'm going to type in wall. Right. Now, because I've drawn a wall and this here wasn't actually on a layer, it's untagged, I can basically go through here and I can go shift 
and I can drag all of these items inside of my wall and now you'll notice that I have the ability to turn things off very very quickly. You can also add folders inside of folders so for instance if I said let's stick a window in here and I'm going to actually do it outside of here so let's get out of here and plus you notice that I've actually created inside because it was selected so that's interesting if you ever do that you can go up here and you can right click and you can delete the tag folder <clears throat> I'm going to go up here to untagged I'm going to go and go plus and I'm going to have to say window now <clears throat> if I go and create a window and turn my wall off here what I'll do is I'll just right click or add a window uh, or a door or whatever it is I can go and stick in that window or multiple windows uh, here and you'll notice that now I have these new layers outside of here so I can go and select the top one shift grab these and stick these into a window folder and now I can turn my windows on and off very very quickly but my understanding is you can also drag the folder which makes it really handy so for instance now if I turn my walls off and turn my windows off with it if I turn it on and then I open it up, I can actually turn my windows off and on, or I can turn my glazing off inside of my windows, you know, very, very easily. I think it's a huge improvement, guys, probably the best improvement. There are also some other tools in here. Now, Matt Donnelly makes a video on this, and he goes into a lot of detail about all of this stuff, so I do recommend that you check it out. Um, so essentially, there was one other thing, is start pre-design. And Matt goes through that uh, in a lot of detail, and I think it's got a lot of promise, so it'll be interesting to hear your feedback. Guys, one other thing is that SketchUp Perpetual is now no longer available. So if you have a perpetual version of SketchUp, I would suggest that you hang on to it, but there are improvements here. And, and being that uh, you can now, it, SketchUp 2021 will automatically update, uh, if you hang on to that, and if you can open those old models, I think that's a, a big plus. So you might need, you know, multiple new licenses. If that's the case, you might go to the subscription version. And if you don't need multiple licenses and you're happy with the existing version of, uh, of SketchUp 2020 or previous, then that's a benefit. I hope that you, that, uh, you guys got something out of this workflow for construction, BIM, uh, and everything like that, I think is, uh, a really important thing for SketchUp and it's a step forwards. All right guys, cheers. If you got any questions or you like the video, push like. If you dislike it, push dislike and tell us why. Cheers, bye.